The Drake Cutlass Black ranks among some of the most popular ships in Star Citizen. With many people swearing by it as one of the best multi-purpose ships in the game. It's also a part of the extensive lineup of starter ships, and the first from that list that delves into multi-crew capacities. As such, you'll want to ensure that your cutlass is equipped and ready to take on whatever the verse has to throw at it. So, besides the requisite rolls of duct tape, here are my personal recommendations of what to equip on your Cutlass Black. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing to support me and my channel. If you're a new player just thinking of getting the game, use my referral code in the video description below for an extra 5,000 starting credits. Also, feel free to check out my Discord server, where we've got a great community of star citizens who are very friendly to newer players. Now then, we've got a lot to cover, so let's jump right into this. We'll be covering components in order of most important to least important, along with where to find them and how much they will cost. Unlike my component guides for the lower cost starter ships, the Cutlass Black has many size 2 components, which can get to be quite expensive. Because of this, to keep the total cost of components as affordable as possible, we'll be trying to snag components that are both cheap and effective, though I will be offering some suggestions for more robust components along the way. Keep in mind that after replacing a component, you may be told the ship has an error or not enough power. This can be fixed by manually cycling power to the new components from your onboard MFDs. Starting at the top of the list, the shield generator is by far the clear winner as the worst stock component that comes with the Cutlass Black. As the Cutlass has but a single size 2 shield, upgrading it is a must if you want to survive even a few hits from large guns. I would recommend snagging yourself a 7MA Lorica Shield Generator, which can be found for 30,300 Alpha UEC at Orison, New Babbage, Her L3, and Her L2. This excellent Shield Generator not only has a great health pool and recharge rate, but is on the cheaper side for shields of this size, and is very good against distortion weapons as well. Next on the list is a new power plant, and unfortunately, the one that comes standard is pretty awful. The JS400 power plant is just excellent, and a worthy replacement. It can be found at Her L2, Area 18, and Orison for 53,150 Alpha UEC. It's expensive, but it's worth the price as it sends power very quickly, is very resistant to distortion, and reboots quite fast if damaged. Next up is weaponry, and for this, I'd suggest heading to the center mass at Area 18 or New Babbage. The Cutlass comes standard with two laser repeaters and two ballistic gatlings. These gatlings go through ammo extremely quickly, so it's a good idea to replace them. The easiest solution is to grab two more CF-227 Badger repeaters for 5,228 Alpha UEC each to fill those slots. This is actually how I would recommend running the ship, but if you feel like you need bigger guns, you can opt to replace your gimbals with fixed CF-337 Panther repeaters instead. These cost 8,925 Alpha UEC each, though, so that's a very expensive upgrade if you're grabbing four of them. The turret guns on the Cutlass Black are perfectly fine as they come. I wouldn't replace them at all. Instead, let's look at the missiles. The Cutlass comes standard with six size 4 missile racks, four of them holding two size 3 missiles each, and two of them holding four size 2 missiles each. There's a lot you can do here, 
but as a minimum, I would recommend replacing the size 3 missiles with Thunderbolt 3 missiles, and the size 2 missiles with Dominator 2 missiles. If you want to go a bit crazier with your missiles, though, you can replace all the missile racks with MSD-481 racks, and slot on 8 Aero-1 missiles on each. You can find these at Grimhex or at Her L3. The coolers and the quantum drive are pretty much fine. They are more than adequate to do what you need them to do with no issues whatsoever, so my recommendation is to just leave them as they are. While there are options to upgrade them, such as replacing the drive with the Zippy XL1 and the coolers with Snowpack coolers, the increase in performance also comes with an enormous increase in cost, as that would add about 250,000 Alpha UEC to our final cost. So save your cash for now and spend it somewhere else. Overall, this little shopping trip will run you around 96,162 Alpha UEC in total, grabbing just the bare minimum of components. It's a tad pricey, but the benefits to performance will be well worth it. Just remember that you don't need to get all of these components all at once. Just grab what you can afford when you can. Please remember that while these are my personal recommendations of what to put on your Cutlass Black, this is by no means the perfect way to equip this ship. You are free to experiment with what you like to use on your ships, and build them however you like to suit your personal playstyle. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, so I know to make more videos like this in the future. If you have any recommendations for ships I should take a look at next, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the verse.